The Azerbaijani delegation decided to cease its engagement with and presence at the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe until further notice, the delegation said in a statement, following the provocative refusal of PACE to approve the credentials of the Azerbaijani side. On January 24, the parliamentary delegation made a statement at the meeting of the organization. It is noted in statement that when Azerbaijan acceded to the Council of Europe in 2001, it was with the genuine hope and expectation that this organization designed to defend human rights and the rule of law would help Azerbaijan restore the rights of hundreds of thousands of Azerbaijanis violated as a result of the military aggression and the occupation of a part of its internationally recognized territories by Armenia, and consequently, justice would be served for the sake of reaching lasting peace in the region. According to statement after Azerbaijan's historic victory over aggression, occupation, and violent separatism and the restoration of its territorial integrity and sovereignty, we face an orchestrated smear campaign to denigrate Azerbaijan and cast shadow on its achievement to restore the justice denied for so long to the people of Azerbaijan. Unfortunately, the pace is being used as a platform to target some member states. The core principles of the pace are exploited by certain biased groups to advance their narrow interests. Political corruption, discrimination, ethnic and religious hatred, double standards, arrogance, and chauvinism have become prevailing practices in the pace. We see the initiative on challenging the credentials of the delegation of Azerbaijan to the pace as part of this vicious campaign. We also consider this initiative as a deliberate and unacceptable attempt to unduly interfere with the ongoing electoral process in Azerbaijan and a vivid example of insidious actions to undermine the functioning of democratic institutions in our country. The proposed refusal to ratify the credentials of our delegation will be a serious blow to the credibility and impartiality of the Council of Europe as a whole, and the responsibility for its grave and irreversible consequences will entirely lie with its initiators. Nobody in the world, including those sitting in this hall, can speak with Azerbaijan in the language of threats and blackmailing. Never before in the history of the PACE has this organization behaved in such a disgraceful manner. In the face of current unbearable atmosphere of racism, Azerbaijanophobia, and Islamophobia in the PACE, the delegation of Azerbaijan decides to cease its engagement with and presence at the PACE until further notice, the statement said. After making the statement, the delegation departed from the venue. Delegation of Azerbaijan has decided to make a statement. And I want to bring this statement to the The Republic of Azerbaijan is a proud, independent, sovereign, democratic, and multicultural nation. Democracy is our conscious choice, and we have made tremendous progress in upholding human rights and rule of law in Azerbaijan since gaining our independence. In the primary objective of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe is to provide a platform for dialogue between parliamentarians from different countries based on the mutual respect and equal footing. When Azerbaijan acceded to the Council of Europe in 2001, it was with great and generous hope and expectations that this organization designed to defend the human rights and the rule of law would help Azerbaijan to restore the rights of hundreds of thousands of Azerbaijanis violated as a result of the military aggression and the occupation of a part of its internationally recognized territories by Armenia. And consequently, the justice will be served for the sake of reaching the lasting peace in the region. During 90 years, from 2001 to 2020, the PACE failed to hold the aggressor state Armenia accountable for its action, contradicting the core values and principles of the Council. It concerns in particular the blatant disregard the human rights of the Azerbaijani refugees and IDPs subjected to ethnic linkage. After Azerbaijan's historic victory over the aggression, the occupation and the violent separatism, and the restoration of its territorial integrity and sovereignty, we face an orchestrated smear campaign 
to denigrate Azerbaijan and to cast shadow on its achievements to restore the justice denied for so long to the people of Azerbaijan. During almost 20 years, an Azerbaijan delegation was raising grave consequences of Armenian occupation, we were told that the pace is not the right forward to discuss conflict-related issues. But now, some base uh, representatives and MPs say quite the opposite and don't miss any opportunity to attack Azerbaijan. Selective interpretation of international law and different treatment of issues pertaining to territorial integrity and sovereignty of state demonstrate the cynical and hypocritical nature of the process of this shameful proposal. Unfortunately, the base is being used as a platform to target some member states. Core principles of the base are exploded by certain biased groups to advance their narrow interests. Political corruption, discrimination, ethnic and religious hatred, double standards, arrogance, chauvinism have become prevailing practice in the base. We see the initiative of challenging the credentials of the delegation of Azerbaijan to the base as a part of this vicious campaign. We also consider this initiative as a deliberate and unacceptable attempt to unduly interfere with the ongoing electoral process in Azerbaijan and vivid example of insidious actions to undermine the functioning of democratic institutions in our country. The proposed refusal to ratify the credentials of our delegation will be a serious blow to the credibility and impartiality of the Council of Europe as a whole and the responsibility for its great and irreversible consequences will entirely lie with its initiators. Nobody in the world, including those who are sitting in this hall, can speak with Azerbaijan in the language of threat and blackmailing. Never before in the history of the base this organization behaved in such disgraceful manner. In the face of the current unbearable atmosphere of racism, Azerbaijanophobia, and Islamophobia in the face, the delegation of Azerbaijan decided to cease its engagement and presence at the base until further notice. Thank you very much. For your attention. I have already seen the organization. This is not our responsibility, but for time being, for delegation, it's really impossible to be here because of this unacceptable and I already said unfair situation and approach to my country. Thank you very much. Okay.